What's going on everybody? It's Joel here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rep Fitness bar and plate tree. So I literally just got this thing in and I installed it. The installation took maybe about 20 minutes um, and then I listed it up for sale after I took some pictures of it. So I only bought this thing to just see how it was, take some pictures of it, put it up on my Instagram because um, I just wanted to see how it compared to like the Rogue that I have over there and the Titan that I used to have, which was a pile of crap. Um, people always say this thing is pretty good, so that's why I ordered it. Um, and I think it is pretty good. I think for the money, it's it's uh, it's a solid weight tree. Um, it's definitely not as good as the Rogue, I'll tell you that. But then again, it costs like half the price as the Rogue. So, like looking at the, the build quality, it does have like a powder coated finish, I don't know if you can tell there, uh, there it is, powder coated finish, pretty much all the way throughout the whole plate tree. Uh, obviously, you could tell that the weight pegs are not powder coats, they are a hard chrome, which is cool because um, that should attenuate like any kind of scratching, it shouldn't show up like uh, the pegs on the Rogue over there, the pegs are all scratched up and uh, the powder coat comes off of that pretty easily. Uh, one thing I don't like so much is the way that you install the pegs. So it's one long piece that you put through and then you tighten this nut right here. Uh, so you can make them uneven, which I guess could be a good thing if you had the plate tree up against a wall and then you wanted to stick them out further out one way than the other. Um, but as it is, like if you wanted them even, um, chances are you're probably not going to get them perfect. Uh, I measured um, the the weight peg and it ended up being like nine inches each way uh, which is it's okay uh, it's definitely not the greatest but the way that I have it set up um, it'll really only hold two 45s per side um, three maybe if you're using uh, rogue like echoes which are pretty thin uh, but I think yeah max that you're gonna go is three pretty much everything that I used fringe sport plates um, Rogue mil spec echoes, which are a little bit thicker than the normal echoes, and then HG plates, Sorenex plates, uh, then the mil spec crumb plates, they all only fit two um, bumper plates per per weight peg. For 25s, I was actually only get, able to get four 25s on each weight peg, and that's using Rogue mil spec echoes, some HGs, and then for the 10s, I was actually only able to get eight 10s per weight peg on which is not bad that's that's okay and I used pretty much the thinnest ones that I could possibly use which are gonna be these ones right here so for the Rogue I could get like 12 if I'm using real thin ones um, for 25s I can get six and then for 45s I can pretty much always get four on a Rogue weight peg uh, so definitely beats it out in terms of storage. It does beat it out in terms of build quality as well. The steel that Rogue is using is definitely better than the steel that Rep is using. Uh, the Rep Fitness is like 35 pounds. Uh, so it's not like the heaviest weight tree that you can get. Uh, but overall, I think the build quality is pretty good. Plus you get um, barbell holders. Uh, one thing that you do not get is wheels. You cannot put wheels on this thing, um, which for me is a big deal because uh, I like to wheel my weight tree around. Um, the capacity weight wise on the rep is 850 pounds. Dimensions we're looking at a 24 by 24 footprint uh, and then it is 50 inches tall which is not bad. Um, and then like I said before each of the pegs sticks out nine inches. Uh, so overall I do think that the rep is actually pretty good. I think it's worth the money, 100 bucks. Uh, shipped was uh, 132, that was plus tax to Southern California. Uh, setup was very, very easy. It took about 20 minutes. Um, you need a 19 millimeter socket, and then pretty much, I mean, it does include tools, but I, I would definitely recommend having your own set of tools. Uh, one person is all that's necessary to, to build this thing. Uh, but like I said, that's pretty much it. I've only had this thing for maybe like, I don't know, couple hours uh, or at least set up for a couple hours uh, but I do think it is a pretty good stand uh, so if you're looking to this definitely re recommend it though I do 
I do think that the Rogue is definitely better if you wanted um, something that held a little bit more, something with wheels, and something that was, you know, just built like a tank. Uh, but otherwise, the rep is great. If you guys have any questions about this Rep Fitness weight tree, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.